What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. Okay, so first off, apologies for my voice here. I'm just getting over a pretty awful bug. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at one thing. I've seen this come up on the forums lately, and there's a lot of people asking, is there any way to render event effects for multiple events? Instead of having to, for example, choose one event and then choose this event effects option to render uh, when you have an event effect instantiated. So first of all, let's get some event effects going. I've just borrowed uh, a session from SyncroArts, which is their session that's downloadable to try out either Revoice Pro or Vocaline. So I'm just going to highlight these three events. We'll, we'll click V. That's the shortcut that I've assigned to add Vocaline. And then if you haven't used this before, it's pretty awesome. You drag in your guide track, you drag in your dub tracks, and boom, they are instantly aligned. So now the whole idea is that if I play back these three tracks, they are aligned. It's playing from the cache that Vocaline has created. My heart is an ocean. Nothing can save it. Nothing at all. Okay. So a couple things to talk about event effects. Obviously, in certain cases, you might be just doing an EQ move to one uh, audio event, or maybe you're adding some reverb or something like that. In this case, I'm using Vocaline, which is actually changing the timing. So there's many reasons why you might want to render your event effects. One would be, it's just, I think, good practice that if you're happy with something that you just commit to it. Uh, another one, especially in the case of using things like Vocaline or Revoice Pro, is that even though this audio is playing back, visually, it looks out of sync. So instead of selecting each one of these events, and then, like I say, it, the minute you select an event, we have the option to render it down here. I don't want to do that. That is kind of inefficient to me. So with Studio One 4.5, if you click this macro button and you head to the audio editing macro toolbar, if you're not seeing this, just reset your toolbar and that should reset all your views. And now we can head to audio editing. You'll notice that in the rendering option, they have this option over here, render event effects. So what this allows you to do is I could, for example, select any event that has an event effect on it. So I've selected all of these events and then with one click, I've just rendered all these events. So now you can see that visually our waveforms line up and they're going to make sense. My heart is an ocean, nothing can save it. But visually, it makes it a lot easier. Plus, we've rendered that event effect, but we have the option to restore it. So if I wanted to unwind this for any reason, I could choose this restore option. Now, another thing that I want to point out, and I think it's kind of important to note, is that if you type in the keyboard shortcuts and you type in event effects, you'll see that under audio, we have the render event effects and restore event effects. Now, this is something that I've actually had mapped out to a key command. I use control command R and control command E on my Mac keyboard. Uh, and I've had this mapped out for a long time. Essentially, any time that I was using Melodyne and I had a bunch of different events and I had Melodyne them and I wanted to render them all, instead of clicking them one at a time, as soon as I found this event effects option that was in the key commands, I programmed it out. And, and that's something that I've been using to render or restore multiple events at the same time. But also worth pointing out that it is available if you don't like using key commands. And I know there's a lot of people who prefer to just do their mouse clicking and work with macro toolbars and, and such. This is a really good option too. It's just you can open up the macro toolbar and make sure that you're in the audio editing macro toolbar. And then we have this option. This is one click of a button. So if you have multiple event effects that you need to render, you can just render them like this. Uh, they currently, as of the release of this, they don't have an option for a restore event effects. Like I said, I've mapped that out to a key command myself, so I can just use my key command, and I've just restored all of those um, by just firing off my key command. But yeah, if you're ever in need of rendering event effects for multiple audio events at the same time, you can either map it out to a custom key command, or if you're working with your macro toolbar, you'll find this option over here, which is really good to use, and one click away from allowing you to render all your event effects in one shot. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.